at ice level are the teams, and Ray Ferraro is there as well. We'll get his take on things shortly. Valentine's Day, sweethearts in the stands, not on the ice for this hitting collision sport. Teams are just about ready. Eddie, what do you think? These two teams both need the W here tonight. I can see him playing it safe early, but the question is, which team will make the first mistake? Opening face-off is just seconds away. McKinnon sent to the big center ice circle for the Avalanche. Byron's out there to try to beat him for the Canadians. The abs in possession through center. He gains the zone. Carries it to the corner. Oh, a close call there. Petrie's got it in the defensive zone, headed to center. Carried to the corner boards by Pacioretty. Feeds the point. To Johnson. Pitching it to Landeskog. Popped loose because of that hit. Flings it. Deflected off the blocker. He staggered it. Hangs on to it. Out to the point to Alster. Toward the goal mount. Stared him down and made the save. Oh, uh, with this puck being so close to that, this is all a reactionary save. He throws it there. He scores! What a gorgeous goal! Better a box of candy, even today. Landis got quick hands, a lot of them to snap that one off and score the goal. I think if the goaltender's a little more patient here, Eddie, stays up on his feet, he's going to be able to make the save. But when he drops into the butterfly, that opens up that top glove hole. That is the first goal scored after a lot of work. Great start. They were ready to play, and it shows on the shot clock as well. Got possession. Scored by number nine. Gains the zone and looks over his options. Laid on to Galchenyuk. Shoots one. Oh, saved by the wire of the mask. Time of the goal. Scorches one. 55 seconds. Pressure mounting here. Point to point. A drive. Colorado's moving the puck in the defensive zone. Got to kill some time here and get a breather for some. They drop it back in, and the forwards are able to get to the bench. Bernier stretched out as far as he can go. He just got a chunk of that shot. Period is 20 minutes. We're just past 10. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's 1-0. Good reach there. Montreal's in possession as they move up the wing. Terrific determination by Jordy Ben. Carried right up the middle. Shoots one. He scores on Valentine's Day. An early gift. No hesitation at all. He fired home that wrist shot. Yeah, and so those are the most fun goals to score, aren't they? Up over the goalie's glove side. Make you feel like you've made a pretty perfect shot. The Avs control from the neutral zone. Snapping a pass to Barry. Good pass up that left wing, and he's got it. Gets in, looks over his options here. From the outside. Oh, what a save that was. Goalie's looking around the screen to try to find the puck. The Avs bench really got excited when they saw their goaltender make that amazing stop. Good job on that face-off, tying the man up. Gets in. What'll he do? Blocked away. Colorado's carrying it in the defensive zone.
lid to Zadaroff. Takes that pass and looks on. And the pickup. The clock has bled down to the last minute. In the first period. Colorado's in possession and moving up the wing. It's dumped in. And now it's directed to Schlemko. Nice tip of the pass. Twenty minutes in the books, both teams scored a single time. Fans, tonight the home team globe is dropping fifty dollar gift certificates to Delman. Proud sponsor of tonight's game. With seventy stores and fourteen restaurants, Delman has it all. The Canadians have the momentum, if there is any in this game, because of this game-tying goal. We'll be right back. Dropped, and we are underway in the second period of this tie game. He's in. The shot is off. Loose puck. It went off one of the guys there. Knocked right off the stick. Montreal's in their own end, lugging it along. Pass through center ice. He's got that point pass. Oh, stick save. The Avs carrying it on in neutral ice. Shoots. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. You want to score goals, you have to go to this area. You got to find a way to put it in the net. Hammer. That's a great save. Loose puck. Good defensive denial. Nicely into the zone. That attack shot right down. Delorier's got this one between the blue lines. Shot nearly grazed the iron on that. Well, that's a good scoring chance. He's trying to be too fine, trying to pick the corner. Sometimes you've just got to shoot it at the middle of the net. Pass attempt to Byron. Chip to Delorier. Pressure is intense. Who can get it out of there? One into another. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. It's one of those rare games where there's not much scoring, but there's been plenty of chances. The goaltenders have been excellent, and the energy has been high. Good scrum here. Not free puck now. Colorado's waiting back in their own end. Now it's steered up the wing to Nieto. A hammer shot from the point. Price got the whistle and a rest. A clean hit, too. That's the best part of hockey, when the game is played as physically as possible, as cleanly as possible, and this is a crushing check. Just over seven minutes to go in the second period. Only a pair of goals so far equally divided. Let's a shot go. Puck free, roadblock by Ben. Outstanding save. What magic even to get there and get the shot off. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to the goaltender. It's been a long time since this wasn't the garden variety stop for a goalie. Down in the butterfly, turned aside. The Avs win it. Tied up on the boards. Receives that pass from the other side. A good stick there, so no complete pass. Puck covered, whistle blown. The Canadians with a face-off win. Montreal's moving the puck up the wing. Dumped in. That one goes back in where... Score! A wonderful holiday hockey performance there.
With the goal scorer right in front, it was tough for the goaltender to pick up the shot off the backhand. Really good positioning. He's in the butterfly where he's got most of the net covered. But there's obviously a hole in the pucks behind him. The Canadians have taken a late second period lead in this one. That might change the conversation in the locker room at the Horn. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. Time of the goal. Tries to get it on net. Oh, lightning quick and a terrific save. Terrific shot, but a save. Pretty routine stop. You can see why everybody learns the butterfly when they're a young kid. Takes away the bottom of the net. They win the draw. Propelled to Shaw. A backhand shot. The abs leave their own zone. Play stop. The puck went into the bench. Uh, guys love flipping a puck up in the stands when it rolls into the bench like this. The Canadians control at center ice. Trying to go to Shaw. Pass to the slot. The second period has been played, and that's the fun part. We now look forward to the third. Looking at the shots on goal through two periods here, 11 for the Canadians, four for Colorado. Hey, fans, time for our parachute drop. If you'd like to join our team. The Canadians broke the tie late in the period, so some momentum for them as we head to break. Or even the locker room tour. Membership is free. So what are you waiting for? Join our Insiders Club today. Third period about to begin. What did you think of the second? Colorado's got to feel lucky, Doc, to still be in this game with 20 minutes or more to go. Offensively, one fortunate bounce, they're back in this game. But in order to do that, they need to be way better in their defensive zone. The Canadians wheel one ahead up the wing. Gives it to the point. Blocked. The abs up the wing lug the puck. Shoots it on. Oh, he scores! <laughs> the initial stop but those quick hands beat him on the rebound nice stop on the initial shot but he's not able to cover up the rebound the goal store gets there first the canadians win the draw what's next by number 29 gains the zone assisted by number Seeks the corner. Let's it go. Up taken hold up by Johnson. On to Nieto. Walking a thin line near the border there. Wonderful save. What a skill level there. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. Wouldn't let him block. And play is stopped for a penalty. The Canadians guilty of a minor penalty for using the stick blade. Adjust a hook. Oh, more times than not, Doc, anytime you reach in around a player's hands that has the puck, you're going to get a hooking minor. Colorado's opportunity on the power play is their first of this game. Let's see how they do. Takes off win here. Shoots one. Lawful boarded. Points it. Shoots one. Sticks outstanding save by the goalie. Looks for room. Save. And that whistle will give them relief for the moment. 
Canadians need to acknowledge their goaltender after one of the better saves you will ever see. Somebody get this guy a pasta visual. Strong play on that faceoff. You have to be strong to hold that other guy off. He takes that point pass. That hits somebody. Long lead pass to McKinnon. And he gets it back. Point to point pass. Oh, and the pass wouldn't go. Collect it now. The Canadians have killed off the penalty. Penalty box is empty for them. These two teams are deadlocked, and we suspected they might be at the start of the night when both teams look to be about of the same caliber. Special teams will play an important role here. Big save there. Drives to the middle. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. The goalie makes himself look big. Tremendous pressure. Save. He's got that one. Let's see what happens. Got a piece of that one. Great shooting lane. Takes that pass from the other point man. Brister! This game has been tightly contested the entire way. I can't see either team stretching this out at this point. A close finish is at hand. It's an onside play. Save! Thinking attack here. One-timer! Colorado's carrying on up the wing. Mashed in. Got it in his own end. Moving it to Galchenyuk. Wanting to generate something up the wing. In the third period. Last minute to go in the third. Looking to McKinnon. Puck is thrown to Soderbergh. They battle on up the wing. Corralled it again. from right in front. Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Strong push by the Avalanche. Dominance right now. Waits with it. Swung back to the point. Gotta hurry, 20 to go. He's got it on his stick, perfect off that left wing. Laid on to Placanitz. He's in on an onside play. He's in! Held there for a face-off coming up next. Time. Pretty impressive, but it'll be the second most important when this game ends. Intermission is next. begun sudden death overtime. Somebody who has been on the ice tonight will leave the ice a hero. Over four minutes to go in OT. And this game is tied at two. A big win. Let's see what happens. Taken on by Johnson. Directing that one to Drew in. Moved along and in. Good defensive play. Loose puck, though. Slid to McKinnon. And at an angle to Yakupov. Oh, and it's off the mark. 
in this situation, you have to hit the net. Sometimes it's best just to fire right at the goaltender. That one is pointed to him. Goes to the backhand. Paddle the side. Good, solid defense there. Collected at the boards. Heading down low. It's all out here. Oh, and a save. A huge moment in the game. Could it swing on this penalty? Petrie's going to the box for two minutes for high sticking. An easy call for the official with the player's hands up and that stick coming up above the shoulders. The Avs begin an unusual power play. This is a four against three. Let's see if they take advantage. They win the draw. Let's see if it pays off. A great opportunity, but he missed the net. Cleared back by Schlemko. Sends to the point. Flings it. Oh, and blocked away. He covers, and a face-off will follow. Good opportunity to regroup here after that save, but now they got to win a defensive zone face-off. An enormous defensive face-off win. Steered ahead by Ben. They must retreat and start back again. Last minute of play. Gains the blue line. Fires. Good save there. Shot. Wonderful save. It didn't look like he had a thing to shoot at. Terrific stop from right in front of the net, but you've got to find a way to put the puck in the net. Bryce keeps his team in it. That's another odd man rush against, but he's equal to the task. This next face-off is the largest one this game has seen. That is a large win by the defensive centerman. Congratulations to him. One-timer, not on the net. I don't see too many guys getting Score! The overtime winner. And the players spill out of the boards to celebrate. And this Valentine's Day game is over. For the players, there's a thought about what goes ahead after this. But for the fans who turned out to enjoy it, many of them on dates, perhaps first dates, Day they won't forget. Well, that's a beauty, Edzo. That ripples the top of the net. The goaltender's got to be able to stay on his feet as long as he can if he's going to be able to stop such a perfect shot. There were hearts and flowers, but none on the ice. A good box of candy to you, and a very special day this Valentine's Day. That's it for our telecast for tonight. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying, Good night.